Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Steve with Real Progressives. So we've all been fed a bunch of lies as we've known throughout this campaign and throughout our entire lives. So many of them have been exposed. So much of what we know now is different than what we knew yesterday. And as we sit here today, the biggest lie that is being pulled over on all of us is the fact that somehow or another we need the rich. Somehow or another we've got to kiss the ass of the rich. Somehow or another we've got to focus on making the rich happy in this country. Because, oh my God, what happens if the rich aren't freaking happy? The problem is, is that we don't need the rich and we've never needed the rich and we still don't need the rich and we won't need them tomorrow. The problem is we keep focusing on how are we going to pay for it. So we keep having to kiss the rich's ass. We keep having to go after the rich and we have to keep telling them, hey, whatever you want to make us happy, we can't possibly upset you because you'll do something bad that we won't like. Wrong, wrong, wrong. The fact is, is that we can do all of this stuff without the rich. And the best way to make the rich feel insignificant is to prove that they are irrelevant, to prove that their money doesn't mean shit to us, and to prove that we don't need them. And the only way to do that is to start doing things without them. And that is making our Congress, making our government serve our needs. So one of the funny things about this stuff that I teach and that I talk about all the time is this term monetary sovereignty. And then what unfortunately keeps coming back within our particular progressive community is this idea that we've got to find the money somewhere. We've got to dig that money out of somewhere. My goodness, if we don't find a way to dig that money out, we're not going to be able to pay for these things so we can't have it. So what happens is we end up stuck and we suffer by our own hand. You realize that, right? You realize we're the ones with the gun to our own heads, blowing our own brains out. We are the ones that are doing this to ourselves. So if we can't get ourselves to be motivated to actually take the power back from the 1% and show them that the 99% are the real power brokers, the real government, governance is through us, then we will never see progress. It is a losing proposition to think that in order to fund the programs we need to fund, that we somehow or another got to find that revenue somewhere. We got to find it. We got to dig it out. We got to crack it open. We got to take it back from the rich. And so we have this need to soak the rich. And while that is certainly a noble cause and is certainly a valuable thing for a variety of reasons, we should not be forcing ourselves to suffer while we sit there and try and wedge money out from under these people so that we can pay for things. Once you realize how important this is, once you realize that they keep us believing they are necessary, oh my God, what will we do without the rich? How would we ever survive without the rich? Once you realize what a lie that is, and you stop just saying the economy is rigged, what does that mean? You keep saying that these things are rigged. What does that mean? I'm telling you what it means. And you people can't, not you people, my people, we're good. So I don't want you to take offense here. But you people being the country, you people, the country, think we've got to do all these things with the rich before we're entitled to have single payer health care, before we're entitled to go to green energy. We need the rich people's money. Oh my God, what will we do without the rich people's money? And I'm telling you right now, that's your first mistake. That's a second battle. Do you see that? We don't care about their money. Their money doesn't matter. They don't matter. They live in their little posh world. If we pretend like they don't exist, that is the single greatest F you to the wealthy that we can do. The wealthy in this country get such great pride out of being able to say they pay for so much stuff, Chauncey. Don't you realize the little people rely on our money, Chauncey? Well, the reality is, no, we don't. We bought into a lie, a myth, and we repeat it amongst ourselves, and we fight amongst ourselves. And then these people hate these people, and these people hate these people because they're fighting over the same little crumbs that we've been led to believe are all we're entitled to. 
And I'm here to tell you that before you start worrying about the Venus Project, before you start worrying about a resource-based economy, before you start going over here and tearing everything down and getting us in Birkenstock and tents, before you start trying to localize everything like the 10th Amendment of the right wing being on the left wing, before you start tearing down the world in a way that you really can't do anyway right now, why don't you focus on what we can do and that's make the rich irrelevant. Let's make the rich irrelevant by forcing our elected representatives to provide us what we deserve and what we need. There shouldn't be suffering right now in this nation. And we can even make sure there's no suffering around the world if we choose to. If we choose to, we don't have to sit there and bomb the shit out of them. We can drop food bombs. If we wanted to, we don't have to bomb the shit out of them. We could drop supplies natural resources we could help provide expert to help them cultivate and help, help them do various things but instead we're focused on bombing the shit out of them at some point in time you've got to make the decision do you actually want the things that we keep talking about or would you rather just be Freaking chasing tales. The greatest myth ever told, aside from the fact that the Federal Reserve is some boogeyman. It's just a spreadsheet on a computer, basically, folks. There's not a whole lot going on there. If you want to just sit there and chase conspiracies and not get single payer and not get the things that we need, not fix the environment. My God, think about this. The environment right now is right now held hostage because you believe we got to tax the rich to solve it. Do you realize that? Climate disaster is coming, but you would rather us not fix that because we have somehow or another got to find this money from the rich people. We got to find money from the rich people to fix the world before it blows up. Do you realize how ridiculous that is? Say it in the mirror sometime. Look in the mirror and say, we need the rich people to come up with money before we can save the planet. And think about how absolutely preposterous what you're saying is. Think about it. I'm dead serious. Think about it. We are held slaves to idiocy. We are held slaves to a lie. And our planet is going to kill us off by our own hand if we don't choose to disabuse ourselves of moronic gold bug logic, if we choose to live in a world where we are dependent on the rich, well, don't call yourself a revolutionary. Friggin' let's toss some tables in the temple. Let's make this shit happen. Stat. That's the way we make shit happen, folks. We demand it. We tell them enough's a freaking enough. And we make them do their jobs. We make them serve us. And we stop sitting there freaking chasing boogeymen and chasing after the wealthy. You realize chasing after wealthy is a two-step process. We somehow or another got to get them to give up the money. Then we got to somehow or another fight the fight to get single payer health care, etc. Do you realize that? The fact is, we don't have to chase their dollars. We got to demand our government stop lying to us. And it starts with you stop believing the lie that taxes fund spending. It starts with you realizing that taxes for revenue is obsolete. It starts with you realizing. That the rich keep this myth over us because it's their per it's something that makes them feel good about themselves. They feel good being better than you, damn it. They're just a tad bit better than you, damn it. And they're the ones that can save us from ourselves. Us little people are so in debt to the rich. Wrong. When are you going to act like a revolutionary and grab hold of this instead of chasing the Rothschilds? Instead of making them feel like they're so freaking important, let's make our Congress spend on us today. I'm Steve with Real Progressives. I'm asking you, one, if you like what we're doing, help us out. Donate to our Patreon account. 
Two, if you like what you're seeing in the live streams and other stuff, subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can see all this stuff in one giant freaking rolling clip. Number three, if you like us and you enjoy Twitter, follow us on Twitter. And also, if you like us, we have a website. It's not as robust as it needs to be yet, but damn it if we're not trying hard. And we've got writers. If you're a writer, come sign up. Write for us. And if you like volunteering, we got big things we're planning. Sign up in our volunteer portal and come and join up with Real Progressives. This is Steve Grumbine with Real Progressives, hoping you have a great day. And stop being about rich.